Hi everybody, my name is Julie. Welcome back to my channel. If it's the first time you've been here, please like and subscribe to this video. Today I want to take you all for a tour of my sewing space. I have a confession to make. I have serious sewing room envy. But I know I'm lucky to have a dedicated sewing space, so let me take you on a tour. This is my ironing board with my sleeve board on top. This is my pressing cloth. The iron I got from my husband as a birthday present. Behind my ironing board is my cutting table and our dining table. To the right is my dress form, whom I delightingly call Gertrude. Right now she's sporting a Doris dress, which I made for my sister for Christmas. This is my overlocker. Well, actually it's my sister's, but she was kind enough to let me borrow it and I use it all the time. Next to the overlocker is my cabinet. On top of it, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. This is the cutest thing. I got it from my kids at Mother's Day and it says God could not be everywhere. That's why he created mothers. You're the best mother and I love you. So down here, I have drawings from my kids. My son made this this morning and he was like, look, mom, it's a girl stormtrooper. Hi guys. I put you over here so I can show you what happens when I open up my cabinet. Here she is, my lovely sewing machine, a Singer Professional XL10. Here you see a little bit of a closer look of the inside of my cabinet when it's just opened. Down here is the table and as you can see I put a measuring tape on it. You can see I've now taken her out and put her in the sewing position. I painted this whole cabinet myself and I absolutely love it. On the inside it's light and it's funny and if you look at the drawers, I don't know if you can see, they are full of glitter. In this drawer I have marking tools and my bias binding tools and a little bit of, uh, of sequence in here. In the middle drawer I have my scissors and other cutting tools. And in the last drawer I have my pattern weights and some other bits and bobs. I have feet for my sewing machine, like this one, my invisible zipper foot. I keep all of my threads in this green box. They're a little messed up right now, but that's how it goes. In this one I have um, measuring tape kind of needle that I'm at the moment having in my sewing machine. This is a Jersey ballpoint needle. I have this little tool. We all need this tool. And then I have the clips, the sewing clips. This one is for broken needles and other sharp objects. So that when it's full, I can just throw it all out. And this is my thread catcher. They all live here on top of my thread box. On the other side over here, I have some pins and a little more pins. And then I have my writing utensils and a couple of small scissors. As you can see, I have closed up the cabinet again so that I could show you the three drawers I have. In this top one, I have all of my rulers. I have pattern magazines down here, Berta style. And here I have a stack of other patterns. These are my kids' patterns. And this, this one is a really, really old book from my grandmother. Over here I have loads of tiny little bows and beads. And these two are just filled with miscellaneous stuff. In the second drawer here I have satin bands and elastic 
pens. I have a couple of glue sticks for when I do PDF patterns. And in this one, I have my hand sewing needles. This last drawer, I have my ham, which I made myself, and I'm pretty proud of it. I have a couple of rolls of painter's tape. This is the patterns that I have for me. Over here is a couple of cones of thread, overlocker thread. And this is for my interfacing. Lowest to the ground, I have my cutting mat and a paper cutting machine. Over here, I have my zippers. Remember the overlocker? Under that, I have the fabrics that I'm using for my current projects. So this was a tour of my sewing space. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching and come back soon. Bye!